So hey guys how's it going on welcome back to a brand new episode on our channel and today in this episode we are going to talk about a brand new project known as AgriConnect which me and my team built during a 24 hour hackathon at Vignan Institute of Technology Vishakhapatnam so this is an app for farmers to network so it's like a social media app for farmers where they can network with other farmers and merchants this will increase the revenue of the farmers by providing them direct contact with the merchants and sell crops directly to them without the middleman so that's what the main purpose behind this application is so now let's just have a demo how the app AgriConnect works so let me just log in one of my accounts let's just say this and then let's just enter the password and if I click on login the login is successful so you can see these are the posts by a few of the farmers and uh, let me just explain each of the components one by one so first of all as I said the app is multilingual right now multilinguality is not completely done so if I click on let's say Hindi you can see the nav bar has been turned into Hindi right uh, currently the other things have not been changed so yeah we have to figure out that as well and if I click on Telugu you can see the nav bar has changed to Telugu similarly we want the entire app to work due to some funding issues we could not use translation APIs and etc for the app and uh, if we do to English it will change back to English so on the right side we have our own data like this is the user currently logged in it's his username and Vishakhapatnam is his location and these are all the other farmers who are at Vishakhapatnam all right and uh, in the center we have the posts by farmers the posts are fetched uh, based on location wise and here are the timestamps when the posts were uploaded so if we have to upload a post let's just upload a random image let me just download a picture first let's just say farmers and if we go to a random image and let's just call get this thing I'll save this image into desktop and then upload it so here if I let's just add a caption first so I'll say the produce this year is pretty good okay and if I want to add a picture I'll click on the symbol and then select this image which I just downloaded and it will show a loading for the image to be downloaded uploaded and then once the image is uploaded it will show the image right below it and if I click on post the post will be uh, updated and you can see the next post is just here so here's the caption here is the image and you can see posted by Minato all right and then we have quite a few features in this app and then if we go to this weather section so this was entirely home I have explained everything we have in the home page and then is the weather page in this weather page first of all we have the next five days the current day so in total we have six days today is May 5th May 6th May 7th May 8th May 9th and May 10th so there will be weather reports for all these days all right and then next we have our ml model which which predicts the best crop for your soil so the user has to enter some data here regarding his soil properties and characteristics depending on which we can like tell which crop is better for him and let's just give temperature 37 humidity 80 and rainfall let's just 78 and let's just click on predict and you will see the most suitable crop would be banana for the soil with these characteristics and we also have used a GPT trained AI model and if we have any queries regarding soils crops weather and farming uh, it will work as well okay and the next page is uh, the trending page uh, like this is the best feature till now what I think so let's say we have a commodity here which is potato and the state is Karnataka and then this is Bangalore and we can fetch prices of this particular commodity in this state and city so let, it's written fetch prices to know the current market price of potato if I click on fetch prices now see what happens it's fetching prices now it will open a site called agnmarket.gov.in apply those commodity and state details 
scrap it from the web scrap the data from the web and then show it in our website just see what happens now and you see here are all the data these are the dates and this is the maximum price of that commodity the minimum price of the commodity and the model price of the commodity so this is how the app works these are the features we could implement in the 24 hours we got and this is a few more features which we wanted to build it is like a profile page where the farmer could add his uh, crops etc but the time ran out so we couldn't so that's the entire application which we built and now let's see what's the tech stack we used to build this project so uh, we have we have used react using whitejs uh, for the front end and we have used mern for a back end and we have also have an ml server which is designed using flask to run the prediction model and the ai assistant which is inbuilt which is using the chat gpt api and this is the server this is the mern based server which we are using so that's how that's the tech stack for the app we are using firebase storage for uploading the files and we are using the agn market.gov.in to fetch the prices of the commodities using web scraping and that's the entire tech stack which we are using and yeah one more thing which is we are fetching the weather report from open weather map api i will link all the resources which we have used in this project right in the description and there are some future uh, updates as well which we were thinking to add in the app uh, one of which will be merchants will be able to provide machinery for rent and lease to the farmers so the farmers will usually be needing machinery right to grow crops in the fields but because they are too expensive so they can't directly buy it let's say a tractor so they they usually so what they usually do is rent that particular tractor from tenants and use that okay so similarly there's another thing which is merchants can directly contact the farmer and do business with them which i have already explained and the next point is an e-commerce for the merchants where they can sell things like let's say pesticides and medicines required for the crop etc uh, they can also run ads for that something like that i hope you get it so one bonus tip is that uh, we have before working on the ui we have created a basic layout like this so that uh, we could work easily on the front end and uh, yep that's the entire app and uh, uh, the main reason we built this app is to help farmers to grow their revenue so that we could help our indian farmers in some or the other way uh, so that we could bring everything right on their fingertips so let me tell you what the reviewers said to us during the hackathon the first thing this is a website farmers don't use laptops so that they can use a website right and the next thing is so uh, and they said that it should be a application we did not make an application because we could not could not have a app developer in our team so that's the main reason why we went with a website and then they said farmers are not that much into tech which is right that's why we made this application multilingual and that's the main reason what they said and one more thing is there are many things they said there are many applications like this but uh, in our research we couldn't get much but yeah i hope we could do some sort of help to farmers with the application we made uh, bringing everything right at their fingertips all the data they need all the resources they need and the most important thing about this video is that we want to convert this entire project into open source so that you guys can contribute to it as well the link to the repository and the entire process of setting up the application in your device will be available in that repos readme.me and yeah so i want to convert this entire application into an open source so that we guys together can help the farmers of india grow and generate even more revenue to make better lives for themselves so thank i would like to thank all the contributors till now my team which we worked at the hackathon so the linkedins of all of them will be added in the description mentioning their roles as well so that's it for this video guys i hope you liked it and would like to contribute to the project as well thank you so much for watching it